Dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways. Reclothe us in our rightful mind, in purer lives thy service find, in deeper reverence praise. In simple trust like theirs who heard beside the Syrian sea the gracious calling of the Lord, let us like them without a word rise up and follow thee. O Sabbath rest by Galilee, O calm of hills above, where Jesus knelt to share with thee the silence of eternity, interpreted by love. With that deep hush, subduing all our words and works that drown the tender whisper of thy call, as noiseless let thy blessing fall, as fell thy manner down. Drop thy still dews of quietness, till all our strivings cease. Take from our souls the strain and stress, and let our ordered lives confess the beauty of thy peace. Breathe through the heats of our desire, thy coolness and thy balm. Let sense be dumb, let flesh retire. Speak through the earthquake wind and fire, O still small voice of calm. trustworthy, giving wisdom to the symbol. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, Enlightening the eye, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold. Sweeter also than syrup, or honey from the cold. have the words of everlasting life. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligence I will frustrate. Where is the wise man? Where is the scholar? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand miraculous signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, 
but to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. What kind of love is this that gave itself for me? I am the guilty one, yet I go free. What kind of love is this? What kind of love is this? <laughs> what kind of man is this? By grace I have been saved It is the gift of God He destined me to be His child Such is His love No It was almost time for the Passover festival, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. There in the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep and pigeons, and also the money changers sitting at their tables. So he made a whip from cords and drove all the animals out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He overturned the tables of the money changers and scattered their coins, and he ordered those who sold the pigeons Take them out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that the scripture says, My devotion to your house, O God, burns in me like a fire. The Jewish authorities came back at him with a question. What miracle can you perform to show us that you have the right to do this? Jesus answered, Tear down this temple and in three days I will build it again. Are you going to build it again in three days? They asked him. 
It has taken 46 years to build this temple. But the temple Jesus was speaking about was his body. So when he was raised from death, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scripture and what Jesus had said. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show me how to stand for justice, how to work for what is right, how to challenge false assumptions, how to walk within the light. May I learn to share more freely in a world so full of greed, showing your immense compassion by the life I choose to lead. Teach my heart to treasure mercy where the given or received for my need has not diminished since the day I first believed let me seek no satisfaction boasting of what I have done but rejoice that I am pardoned and accepted by your Son. Gladly I embrace a lifestyle modeled on your living word, in humility submitting to the truth which I have heard. Make me conscious of your presence every day in all I do by your Spirit's gracious prompting may I learn to walk with you make me conscious of your presence every day in all I do by your Spirit Gracious prompting, may I learn to walk with you. God of Love. Hear the cry of those who yearn for love. Fractured families, broken homes, neglected, unwanted, alone. God of love, hear our prayer. God of justice, hear the cry of those who yearn for justice. Persecuted and oppressed, exploited, ill-treated, broken. God of justice, hear our prayer. God of peace, hear the cry of those who yearn for peace. In battle zones and broken states, frightened, fearful, anxious. God of peace, hear our prayer. God of healing, Hear the cry of those who yearn for healing, physical and spiritual, hurting, weakened, depressed. God of healing, hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear the cry of those who yearn for mercy, convicted, in need of your grace, contrite, Humble, bowed down. God of mercy, hear our prayer. 
I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. God give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, to take up your cross and to follow him. And the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you all. Today and throughout this season of Lent and forevermore. Amen.